Well, Jack Dorsey and his beard are out. And there's a new sheriff in town at Twitter. And he's not wasting any time, not even a day. New Twitter CEO Parag Argawal announced his radical new privacy policy today when he stepped in as day one of the king of the blue check marks. Twitter announced that somehow sharing images of people without their consent, you know, public images, will no longer be allowed, writing in part, quote, let's unpack what this means. This policy update, it's always a policy update, will help curb the misuse of media to harass, intimidate, and reveal the identities of private individuals, and here's the rub, which disproportionately impacts women, activists, dissidents, and members of minority communities. Ah, now I get the policy update. It's obvious who this policy is meant to protect. Black Lives Matter, left-wing feminists in pink hats, and of course, Antifa just for starters. Someone sees a video of themselves looting? You better take it down. How about a video torching a store? Take it down. Project Veritas catches you, I don't know, being honest about your hatred of conservatives? Definitely take it down. Not to mention the always protected elites like Hunter Biden and the now suspended, maybe kind of, sort of, Chris Cuomo. No more publishing emails or haunting photos from the past or text messages with the assistant to your brother, governor. Continued justification to keep censoring Hunter's laptop from hell. It no longer matters if the alternate media contains, you know, any alternate media, you with a phone covering things that are happening in public, if it, in, it contains information that the public should be aware of. And say goodbye to the Twitter account. Twitter accounts like libs of TikTok. You may have seen it. It's a humorous account that takes already publicly published videos from liberals on TikTok and reposts them on Twitter for all of us to see. The owner can now have it taken down, the liberal who originally posted it, even though they published it online and should want millions of people to hear, you know, their preferred gender pronouns or the latest climate hysteria. It gives the social media platform even more control, which is scary, more control about what can be shown, and more proof that they are indeed a publisher and not simply an unbiased platform. We've known that all along, but this new rule shows us yet again. Big tech has been censoring conservatives and Trump supporters for a long time. We know that, but now they're coming after you and your phone and your videos if you catch something they don't want other people to see. Joining me now to break it all down is Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. Senator, thanks so much. You've been all over this. This rule change, what does it mean to you? What will it mean for users of Twitter or other social media and what they can share? Well, I promise you what it won't mean, that the people whose privacy won't be protected are normal Americans who want to express their views, particularly if they have conservative views. I promise you that their privacy won't be respected. They'll still get censored. They'll still get tracked around. Let's, let's just remember what Twitter does, by the way, how yes. they make their money. They track us around the web everywhere, they, everywhere we go. They collect a dossier on us. They sell our information. They profit off of us. I promise you they're not going to stop doing any of that stuff. And at the end of the day, Pete, here's the deal. The last thing America needs is another big tech robber baron who doesn't care anything for free. Free speech, and that's exactly what Twitter's giving us. But aren't they just giving? Aren't they just saying out loud what we've known all along? Whether it's you know critical race theory in the classroom called diversity, equity, inclusion, and we talk about the groups that are marginalized and therefore need different protections than everybody else. So, if a certain person points a camera at somebody, that's different than another certain person, and it all depends on your sexual orientation or your gender or your race. I mean, they're just saying exactly what we know they've been doing all along. Well, and it's, it's, it, that's exactly right. And it's the classic what's become the rule of the left, which is rules for the, but not for me. You know, they don't follow their own standards. They never do. Here's the other thing about Twitter. It doesn't really matter what they write down. They don't follow any of the rules anyway. Right. They just make it up See as they, they go along. And the worst part is you can't go to court to enforce it. Currently, Twitter has immunity. So if they violate their terms of service as to you, there's nothing you could do about it. We should change that. You should be able to go and sue in court. And the other thing we ought to do, Pete, is we ought to break them up. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.